Hello, kindergartners. I hope that you're all being able to enjoy a little bit of extra time with your families when we're out doing our remote learning. So recently, you, we've been learning about butterflies and we've discussed the life cycle of butterflies and different characteristics or things that uh, butterflies have. So today, we're gonna be learning how to draw a butterfly and then we're going to also recall or remember some of the stuff that we've learned about butterflies and we're gonna write a sentence about it. So the first thing I wanna make sure that all of you have is to get started on our butterfly drawing is I want everybody to get a piece of paper. Uh, it can be a blank piece of paper like this one here or it could be lined paper, whatever you have. And then you're also going to need um, something to draw with. I'm gonna be using a marker um, but you might want to start your drawing by use, with using a pencil. And then you're going to want something to color your drawing in with. Uh, I decided that crayons would be the best thing to use for my drawing, but you can use markers, colored pencils. You can even use paint if that is what you have to draw it with. So go ahead and pause the video for a minute or have your parent help you if you need to and go ahead and get those supplies. Great, now that everybody's ready to go, we're gonna get started with drawing our butterfly. So the first thing I want you to do is you see, we've got this nice piece of paper. I want you to take your paper and I want you to fold it up just about like that so that it's folded up that much. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna unfold it. This is gonna give us a nice spot to write just like we do when we're doing our writing in class. Once you have your paper, like this and you've made your fold, go ahead and take a line, take your pen or your pencil or whatever you're using and draw a line all the way across it. You should all be very familiar with this and down here is where we're gonna write and up here is where we're gonna draw our picture. Okay, now that everybody has their line drawn, we're gonna get started with drawing our butterfly. This is an example of what your picture might look like when it is all done. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pen or pencil, whatever we're using to draw with, and we're gonna draw a circle for the head of our butterfly. So everybody draw a circle. It's okay if it's not perfect and nobody's pictures are gonna look exactly the same. So that's gonna be the head of my butterfly. Great job. Now that you've got the head of your butterfly drawn, let's go ahead and make the body. I'm gonna draw kind of like an oval and that's gonna be the body of my butterfly. So I started here at the head, I went down and all the way around. That is the body for my butterfly. Now that I've got my body in my head, I think my butterfly needs a face. So let's draw a nice little face. We're gonna draw some eyes. And I think butterflies are happy, so I'm gonna draw a nice little smiley face on my butterfly. And if you can recall or remember from our learning, we discussed that butterflies have antennas. Say that with me, butterflies have antennas. Nice job. So those, we're gonna put right up here on the top of our head. And I'm just gonna draw two lines with kind of little curlies at the end of them. Great job. So we have also learned that butterflies have four wings. One, two, three, four. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to draw my top wings. I'm gonna start right up here by the head and the top wings are gonna be bigger than the bottom wings. And it kind of looks like a heart. So there's one top wing, and I'm gonna try to make the wings on both sides pretty much the same. Again, they're not gonna be exact, but I'm gonna do my best. So I've got one wing here and another wing here. Great job. Now that you have your wings on your, your top wings, we're gonna draw the smaller lower wings. So start right about here and you're gonna just draw a wing just like this. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna put your pen or your pencil or your marker right about here 
And you're gonna draw another wing. Great job. So you might notice on this picture that we've got some lines, just some details on our butterfly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. I'm gonna draw one, two, three half lines and then one all the way across on this side. So do that with me. One, two, three, and then one that goes all the way across. And then on the right side, I'm gonna draw one, two, three lines. So now I've got three half lines on this side, three half lines on this side, and one line that goes all the way across. Great job, kindergartners. I cannot wait to see your pictures. Okay. Next, we're gonna add some details to our butterflies because as we know, when we see butterflies, they are beautiful and they have all sorts of details. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pen or our pencil, whatever we're using to draw with, and we're gonna start right up here at the top of the wing and we're gonna make a kind of a, a little U shape that connects it to this part of the wing. And then we're gonna do that again to this next part. We're gonna take our pens or markers or pencils and we're gonna make another shape just like that. So it kind of follows the same curve as the wing. And, and I'm gonna do that on this side as well. I'm gonna take my pen or pencil and I'm gonna make a little U shape right here. Okay, and I wanna make another U shape right like that on this swing. So everybody follow along. You should have your wings and you should have kind of a U shape here, a U shape here, and a U shape here, and a U shape here. Great job, kindergartners. Now I'm going to make kind of like an M shape on this bottom one if I were looking at it sideways. So I'm gonna go just like that on this bottom wing. So kind of like an M if it were turned sideways. It's also kind of like a backwards three. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. Make my, this time it looks like a three, okay? So everybody get your lines drawn. Oh, great job. Okay, now I'm gonna put my pen right here, right where this kind of comes in. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna connect it to the body of the butterfly. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go all the way up until it touches the butterfly. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this next side. I'm gonna put my pen here and I'm going to connect it all the way up to the body of the butterfly. So now you can see we've got our four wings and we've got some extra little details on there. So another thing that we've learned about butterflies is most of them have spots and these kind of look like eyes and they help scare off predators. So I'm gonna draw some of those on my butterfly as well. They're just some nice details that we can add. And we've also learned that butterflies just like us are pretty symmetrical. That means that they look the same on both sides. So your right side of your face looks the same as your left side of the face. So the right side of the butterfly looks pretty much like the left side of the butterfly. So if I draw a circle over here, everybody draw a circle. I wanna draw a circle that looks pretty much the same on the next side. So here's another circle. Great job. So I'm gonna do a shape here and here as well. This time I'm gonna make it look kind of like a teardrop. One there. And since I drew one on the left side, I need to draw one on the right side as well. All right, does everybody have those shapes drawn? Nice job. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to wanna put a shape on this swing. I'm gonna put kind of an oval shape on this one. And since I put it right here, I need to find that same spot over on this wing to put it as well. All right, I think that this last one needs a little bit of something too. So let's do another oval shape down here. So take your pens or your pencils, draw an oval. This one I made a little bit bigger than the other one. 
And I'm just going to do an oval on this side as well. Okay. Great job, kindergartners. So that's the start to our butterfly. We've done most of it already. Really, you've done all the hard work. <coughs> now we've got to add some detail. So not always, but a lot of times the tips on the butterflies are black. So that is the color that I'm going to color mine in. I'm just going to use the same marker that I was drawing my butterfly with and I'm going to color in the tips of my butterfly black. So go ahead and color in the tips of your butterfly. You can use any color that you would like to. Go ahead and color those in right now. And I'm gonna do my very best coloring. I don't want it to look scribbly. We wanna pay attention to our details. And then I'm gonna color this bottom one. And if you need to pause the video at any time to get caught up with your butterfly picture, you can do that and that will be just fine. All right, now that I've got those two details done, I think it is time for us to add some colors to our butterflies. Butterflies come in all sorts of beautiful colors. For this one, I think I'm going to start with, mm, with orange. So I'm gonna grab my orange crayon. Again, you can grab any color that you would like to to color your butterfly. And I'm going to color the top wings orange. So I'm gonna do my best coloring and I'm going to color my butterfly orange. So everybody should be picking a color and coloring their butterfly. One of the other things we learned is that a lot of butterflies are very colorful. I want you to think about what we learned about why butterflies are colorful. So everybody think about that for a minute while you're coloring your <coughs> butterfly. I bet you that you remembered that butterflies are colorful because it helps warn off predators. We also learned that a predator is something that might eat the butterfly. So maybe a bird could be a predator to a butterfly. All right, so I've got my top wings colored, this color orange. I like really cut colorful butterflies. So I'm gonna pick a different color for the bottom part of my butterfly. I'm gonna pick this kind of a little bit more reddish color for the bottom part of my butterfly. It's a little bit darker. It's still pretty close, similar. And I'm gonna color the bottom wings this red color. So everybody should be coloring their butterfly, doing their very best job. Don't forget to ask your mommy or daddy to email these to us so we can see your beautiful pictures as well. See what a great job that you're doing. We miss you so much while you're out. Okay. All right, so we've got our top wings colored and we've got our bottom wings colored. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more color to my butterfly. This time, I think I'm gonna add some yellow. So I'm gonna take a yellow crayon and again, you can use any color you want to and I'm gonna color these little circles. I'm gonna color them all yellow. doing my best to color inside the lines. And I think, because I like the bright yellow, I'm gonna color the body of my butterfly yellow too. Okay, all right. So I've got my wings colored, I've got my body colored, and there's one more thing I need to color, and that's the head. I'm gonna use just a little bit of a lighter shade of orange for my head. And again, you can use any color you want. This one over here has got kind of purples and pinks. All right. So now my butterfly looks happy. He's all nice and colorful, but my picture looks kind of boring. And we know that when we make our pictures, we wanna fill up the whole space. So I'm gonna add some detail and I want you to add detail to yours too. 
You do not have to add the same details that I am adding. You can add whatever you think would be in the picture with the butterflies. So we know that our butterflies are outside. So I'm not gonna draw a picture of the butterfly being inside. I'm gonna draw my butterfly being outside. And butterflies, they don't like to fly in the rain. It makes it hard for them because their wings get all wet. So we're gonna draw a butterfly in the sunshine. So I'm gonna draw a sun and your sun could be a circle sun or it can be just kind of over in the corner like mine or however you want it. I'm gonna draw my sunshine and I like rays coming off of my sunshine. So I'm gonna put some rays of sunshine up there. And I think that I would like some grass in my picture. So I'm gonna draw some grass and it's just kind of gonna be down here. I'm gonna draw some hills, my picture, and some little lines that make it look like grass. And you can add whatever you want to to your picture. And then I'm gonna color it in. So everybody add some more details to your picture. Color them in. I've got my butterfly and a sunshine and I've got some grass. Now, we know the butterflies really like flowers. So I'm gonna add a couple flowers to my picture. So I'm gonna draw, we've also been learning about the parts of the flower. I'm gonna draw my stem and I'm gonna draw some leaves. And let's see, I'll put another flower right next to it maybe, a stem and some leaves, and I'll put one over on this side. So here's a stem and some leaves. So flowers have stems and leaves, but they also have beautiful flower buds on the tops of them. So I'm gonna draw this nice little flower. This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw this one, center of it purple. My flowers, I'm gonna have them all be the same. I'm gonna have light purple centers see and then I'm going to get ooh, this darker shade of purple for my outside and you don't have to draw flowers you can draw something else just make sure that you make your picture nice and colorful with all the things that you might find outside with a butterfly I bet your pictures are looking amazing okay so I'm gonna color my flowers in you keep coloring your picture as well got almost done with my beautiful picture. Very last thing I need to do is I need to color the sky because the sky is not white. I'm gonna color my sky a nice pretty shade of blue. Color it just nice and lightly. I'm not gonna press really hard when I'm coloring it. I'm just gonna kind of lightly color my sky blue and I'm gonna try to get all of it in between the flowers. You could draw some trees in there if you want. Draw some clouds in there if you want. I'm just gonna color my sky blue though. Okay. Oh, I bet your pictures are all looking amazing. Now, my picture is completed, right? I've got some, I've got lots of color. I've got my butterfly, I've got some nice grass. Now, I'm going to write a sentence. So I want all of you to think about the different things that we have learned about butterflies. So this example one here says, most butterflies eat nectar from flowers. All right, and that's something that we learned about. So think in your heads, what did you learn about butterflies? I'm gonna give you a little bit to think about that. 
All right, so I bet some of the things that you have come up with are maybe the same thing. Maybe your fact that you remembered is that butterflies like to eat nectar from flowers. You might remember that some butterflies migrate or head south during the winter. You might have remembered that butterflies start out as caterpillars. Maybe you remembered that butterflies have four wings. You might remember that some birds eat butterflies. Or you might have remembered another fact. Maybe you remember that butterflies have antennas. So I'm going to write for my fact that butterflies are colorful to warn no, or, or to scare off predators. So I'm gonna write butterflies. But er flies. Now, at school we would use our space band. I don't have a space band here, so I'm just going to use a crayon to remember to make my space. So butterflies are, that's one of our sight words, are, and I don't think I could fit colorful right there, so I'm going to go to the next spot. Col or all or Spaceman to scare sc air. So butterflies are colorful to scare off Spaceman. Predators. P er, ed, a, t, or, z. Remember how we learned that sometimes the S makes a z sound, so predators makes that z sound. Other things we want to remember when we write our sentences. The beginning of our sentence, our first word is capital, but lowercase does all the rest. And then at the end of our sentence, we have a period. So you should have your beautiful pictures and everybody would like you to send them to me, send them via email, have your parents help you out with that so that I can see what a fantastic job you're doing. I can't wait to see all of your drawings. I'm gonna show you one more example because yours, again, it's not gonna look exactly like this one and it's not gonna look exactly like this one. Um, maybe your drawing is gonna look like this and it might say most butterflies travel to warm places. And that is a great thing to do and they all look very different. So I hope you enjoyed learning about butterflies and drawing wonderful pictures. And we miss you very much. Have a great rest of your day.